Well, let's take a look now at a function that I'm also glad that has been added for 2012, uh, particularly now that we all tend to work with other people and firms, and there's sometimes many different releases that we have to deal with of AutoCAD. And this is the new Drawing Convert tool. And we access this from the Applications menu. That's the big A here in the upper left. And then under the Save As choice, we have this new Drawing Convert tool. Well, let's take a look first at this dialog box here. And first, we want to take a look at this button here that allows us to create what are called conversion setups. And these would be a group of settings that tell the conversion process how to convert and save the files. So let's take a look at those. Well, once selected, I'm given a choice uh, or a list of some of the provided ones. And I can elect to create a new one or I can modify an existing one or create one from scratch using the new. So let's go ahead and do that and create a new one. And I'll call this one 2004 format. And I'm going to call it in a new folder. Because what we're going to do is we're going to create one that converts drawings to 2004 format and places them in a new folder. And I'll go ahead and press continue. Well, in this next dialog, we're presented with many options that control how these batch conversions will take place. So first, I can set the type of conversion package that I want to create. And keep in mind that this routine is more geared for doing multiple drawing conversions rather than just one drawing, but it will work for that as well. So I can create a a uh, zip file that would contain the converted drawings or I can do an in place conversion which overwrites the existing files a folder conversion which places the converted files in a new or existing folder or I can also even create a self executing exe um, zip file that contains the drawings so in our case what I want to do is I want to use the folder option and create a converted set of files in a new folder. Next we select the format that we want to use for the converted files. And you see here the list giving me the options all the way back to release 14. Also if you happen to use drawings that might contain AEC objects. This would be for your civil 3D users you would also see the options to create a DWG file with the exploded AEC objects. So your AEC contours would be converted to polylines, etc. And this is a useful tool for those types of conversions so that you don't have to use the export option anymore. So I'll go ahead and select the 2004 format. Maintain visual fidelity for annotative objects is an option that you can explore and I, you may have already come across that. It has to do with the fact that you didn't have annotative objects prior to um, 2007. The conversion file location is where we want to set the location for the new folder that we're going to save the converted drawings to. So you would just set that accordingly. Now conversion file name is an option that would be available depending on the conversion type that we had selected. Under path options we can set up an organized folder structure which might be based on your own folder structure and which could also include any XREF locations things like that. Now if you're doing a straight drawing conversion you could use one of the other options such as placing all the files in a folder would put all the conversions in one folder. The keeping the files and folders as is will maintain the file and folder structure of the existing folder if you're doing a conversion with more than one folder or subfolders and it would maintain the same names and locations of those folders. So in our case we're just going to use the place all files in one folder choice. Now over here to the right we do have some additional options or actions that we can apply to the conversions. And there's a couple of these that you may want to use. Um, I would probably go ahead and maybe set the default plotter to none. 
Um, I know that all of you have gotten ahead, gotten that uh, error message about a plotter configuration not being found. Um, so that just saves them a little problem not having to do with that error later on. And also, you might get also use the purge drawing options, uh, just so that the drawings would be as small as possible when you convert them and send them out and not cluttered with a bunch of unused blocks and layers and things like that. But obviously take a look at each of these for your situation. And then lastly we can give all these settings a description or name so that when we get ready to use this same conversion scenario uh, we can select it off the list and have the description sort of give us an idea of what type of conversion it is. Now we give our name to our conversion setup up here um, and we can obviously add an additional uh, description here um, that says maybe 2004 format um, with all drawings going into one folder. And that way at least we have a description in case we just don't recall exactly what this format did for us. And then once we have that I can just go ahead and press OK. And now you see that this has also been added to my list of conversion setups. And I can go in here and rename or modify that one once it's on the list. And again, I can also create one for a particular client uh, that I'm always using uh, or doing conversions for, sending drawings to, that I might need to set some additional options. And of course, later on, if that project's done, I can delete that, so I no longer need it. So I'll go ahead and close out of this, and we're back to our Drawing Convert dialog. So let's go ahead and add some files here to this and convert them. So I can come down here to my Add Drawing Icon button here, and I'm going to go ahead and select my sample drawing here and open it up. Once I've done that, you may get a message telling you that some attached file, in this case I have some XREFs and some images, uh, could not be found. Uh, again, you may want to go ahead and make sure that those are in the right location. In this case, I have a lot of XREFs and things that were over on a server drive. But in this case, I'll just go ahead and pick OK. And if those were there, they would have gone ahead and been added to the list as well. Now, we do still have a couple of options that we can do with this list. First of all, we can save this conversion list so that if this is an ongoing project that we're working on we can save this list of drawings so that we can pull up our project files at any point to convert them and send them out to the client for further review or use. So I'm going to go ahead and save this one and you'll notice that it saves them as a conversion list file or BCL which stands for batch conversion list and I can just call this one subdivision and save it and then once I have that I can then open up that conversion list at any time pulls in my drawings and has them ready to convert. I can also append to this list or I can also create a new one. Now again, once I have everything set up the way that I want it here for my drawing conversions, I'm ready to convert those. And I just simply press the convert button and it'll show you a little progress bar there as far as your drawing conversions. And then depending on the size and the number of files, it might take anywhere from a few seconds to, to a, a minute or two. And then you can click on to view the report and then this would give you any errors that you might have had and they would be shown here. In this case it shows me the conversion file format, package, location, and I had no errors. So all that looks good. So again this is a very handy tool for those that are doing a lot of converting and a lot of saving back to previous versions and as I said I do a lot of that now because there's so many releases out there uh, that different companies and different people are using.